Our topic today is introduction to computers. Computers are so important in everyday life that uh, we cannot afford to live without a computer. We are living in a computer age. Now, uh, some people have the conviction that it is very difficult to uh, learn a computer, especially when you are old. But uh, I want you to know that everyone can learn a computer. It does not uh, regard age or gender or race. Anyone at all can do computers. This is why I'm here to assist you with your first lesson in computer. So this course is designed for anyone who has not done computing before. You don't know where to start from. You haven't touched a computer before, or you have probably touched a computer, but you cannot use it effectively. So I'm here to take you through. You don't have to go to a physical structure and sit in a classroom to do computing. Uh, we are providing this course so that anyone can sit at the comfort of his or her home and enjoy practical computer lessons. So we teach you step-by-step -step approach uh, from beginner to advanced level. Okay, so you can do all your office and administrative work. Okay, let's start. Introduction to computers. Basically, people talk about two main types of computers. Desktop computer and then the laptop. Okay, so you have to have one of these if you want to learn about computers. Now, the desktop, the desktop computer, you can see it here on the left side. It has this uh, screen, we call it the monitor, and then this uh, board, which we call it uh, sometimes system unit or the box. Okay, then we have our laptop here. Okay, so the laptop is a package. You know, it has everything, everything, you know, in one. Okay, now when we come back to the desktop computers, uh, they also have other uh, components like uh, the cables, the keyboard, and the mouse that uh, must support uh, this whole system so that it can work. Okay, first of all, uh, you see this box here. It is the main computer. All the activities, all the tasks occur inside this computer box. But what the monitor does or the screen what it does is that it displays the activities that are occurring inside this computer box okay so uh, when you're a beginner you might think that the screen is the main computer but it isn't it's just the the, the eyes you know the screen the computer sees through this screen okay so uh, if you are a computer user in order for you to uh, know what is really happening inside this box the screen helps you you know to see what is happening inside the box then the laptop as i said is like everything in one uh, chamber okay so everything is inside okay uh, i'm just uh, trying to go in a very simple and basic way so that anyone can have uh, the basic understanding later we will talk about some other features okay uh, i guess you might have heard of uh, computer hardware and maybe computer software okay we are not going to be so much uh, of a uh, theory work okay we are not going to do so much of theory work but you still have to know one or two terminologies okay computer hardware basically is uh, all the physical components of a computer that you can see and probably touch okay all the physical components of a computer that you can see and touch now what are the physical component we have uh, the, the 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 screen here as you can see the monitor we have the system unit you know we have uh, the cables we have the mouse we have the external speakers we have the keyboard we have so many so many things okay all those parts you can see and touch we refer to them as computer hardware then we have the computer software which is the set of programs we put inside of the computer so that it can run for example look at these two computers the desktop and then the laptop when uh, the screen is like this okay okay first of all when the computer manufacturer uh, manufactures a computer or builds a computer it may be like uh, a system like this okay and when it is like this, it cannot do any work. It cannot function. 
Now you see on the right side that the, there is a screen here on the laptop. You see this nice view you are seeing. It is as a result of a, a software that we have put inside the computer. So the, the software is what helps us to use the computer to work. Without it, the computer will become blank and dark like you see here. You cannot use it for anything without the software. Uh, take, uh, for instance, a, a human being. A human being, we have a blood running through, you know, our veins. So you may have uh, the, your, your, your body, okay, as the hardware, but you need the blood to run through your veins so that you can, you know, function properly. So the blood of the computer, you know, that's the software. We need a software before the computer can function. So both the hardware and the software are equally important. Okay, so uh, we know about uh, how a computer desktop looks like and how a laptop looks like. Now let's come down here. How to turn on a computer or how to boot a computer. You see, this is the button for power. All electronic devices have this button. So this is for the desktop. You just press it. That's the power button. Then your computer, it will take a few minutes, then it will start. Then you start using it. This is the one on the laptop. You see the symbol for power is still the same. It has not changed. So uh, I believe uh, it is easy to uh, find this symbol and then start. Now, after uh, all that, let us see some important things to know about your computer. Okay, some important things to know about your computer. Uh, we have a list of them. There are many. I just started with 10 of them. One is uh, the start on the or the Windows button. Or which one is the start or the Windows button? You see here, look at this arrow here. We call it the Kesa. You see the mouse control start, the computer mouse. It helps you to point to any place where you want to work. Okay, so we call this the Kesa. So you move the Kesa to the bottom left corner. You see this symbol here. Uh, like a flag that is the start or the windows button okay we do so many things there so many things there so you can click and then check what is really there okay but we talk about these things uh, later for example if i want to switch off the computer the proper way is to click on that start button and you see the power symbol over here again you click power and then after that you see these three we have sleep, shut down, and restart. So if I want to put it off, I click on shut down, shut down. That is the proper way to switch off your computer. Don't go and press the power button straight away on your computer. No, no, that's not a good way of uh, handling your computer. Okay, so that's uh, the start of the Windows button. Then we have number two, desktop, desktop. So desktop is the entire screen here that you are seeing. Let me uh, minimize this. You see this screen here? We call it desktop. It's like uh, the platform where you execute all your activities, okay? If I want to work, I normally operate from here. This desktop, you can also save some files. Files are, you know, work documents that you, you want to put here. It can even be videos, music, anything you want to save. You can also put them here on your desktop. So this entire space is what we call the desktop, the desktop, okay? Then we move on to the next point, which is the tax bar. What is the tax bar? You know, from the word task. Okay, first of all, it is this uh, rectangular array, you know, this rectangular thing here with the, the black thing here, all this here is, you see, is what we call the tax bar, okay, where my case is moving. Now, it, it contains mainly uh, some characteristics or some features. Some of them are active programs. Okay, when you are running any program or when you open any window, for example, you see here my, 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 my Microsoft Word, uh, one of the programs we use for typing is open. So you see, uh, you, can see you can see that there is something here, you see, like a little bit of a shadow. That is what shows that that one is active. I can uh, click on this one here. You see, as it is, it is not open. This symbol here uh, is uh, an internet browser called Mozilla Firefox. Okay, now let's click on that and see. When it opens, you will notice something that there will be a shadow formed over the 
to show that there is an active program. Uh, just give it a minute or two. I don't know why it's taking that long to open. Let me click again. Maybe it didn't do for the first time. Okay. So, yes, it is now opening. So, can you see the shadow I was talking about? So, you can see that this is an active program. So, all tasks that we are doing, okay, they actually uh, reflect or show on our tax bar. That is why we call it tax bar. So, any uh, tax you are doing, you will see a little bit of a shadow, you know. Then you know that that one is an active program. Besides, if you want to set your date and your time, you can see those things here. If you want to connect to your internet Wi-Fi, if you want to set your volume and stuff like that, we, if you want to search for anything on your computer, you can click here uh, and then you know you type whatever you want in the search space. So uh, that's your tax bar. That's your tax bar. Okay. So let's look at the next thing. We have the hard disk drive common uh, commonly known as the hard drive okay that is the storage space for your computer everything on your computer is stored on your hard disk drive okay everything everything is stored uh, it is partitioned into different uh, spaces like uh, number five documents it's a place where you store maybe uh, things that uh, are like in the form of a document, like work related stuff, you know, appointment letters, your uh, pay slips, um, anything, letters, and stuff like that, you know, or accounts and all those things that are related to work. You can uh, put them inside a place called document. That does not mean that you cannot put your video inside document. You can put your video there but they have done this for sorting purposes so that sorting can be very much easy or easier okay so we can put uh, our work stuff here then you can see music uh, you can figure out what we do here just put our music collection of music okay here uh, as i said earlier you can put anything here whether video music or document but then it helps you to sort out your stuff easily we have videos and then pictures uh, we put uh, you know similar items videos in videos and pictures in pictures all of these storage spaces go straight to your hard disk drive okay so your hard drive is, is like the main place like you know the main house but then in the house, we have so many rooms where people sleep in, excuse me. So uh, whether you are sleeping in the first room, uh, the second room or the third room, the bottom line is you are sleeping in one particular house, which is the hard disk drive. Okay, so these are storage places we save our files. Now, uh, I'll show you how to get to your document. Uh, you see on the tax bar, we have this place called the uh, file explorer okay this yellow uh, button okay now you click on the file explorer like this let's uh, wait for it to open okay so it opens for us anything that opens like this we usually call that uh, a window so with this window let's check on the left uh, side here on the left side, you see we have so many things here. If I want to uh, go to document, you see document here, just click. And just check this name here, it's quick access, right? By the time I click document, see, so it turns into document. And then uh, all the stuff inside document appear right below here, okay? So that's how we get to document. Uh, below the document, you can see pictures. So I, I can click on pictures. Then you see the name has changed. You know into pictures now so all the pictures i have uh they are here they are here then i can go to music then you see the name has changed to music so oh, this is my music and then uh, it, it, it goes on it goes on okay so uh, this is how we get to pictures music and even videos you can see videos down here so we can click on videos then we see uh, the videos that i have on the computer right so that's it does it this is how we are able to assess uh, these uh, spaces or these uh, important places on your computer then we have another important place called a computer or my computer
or this PC. Let me make a correction here. This one is or or this PC. Okay, we call it computer or my computer or this PC, depending on the Windows that you are using. Okay, we am using Windows 10 at the moment. Some people are using Windows 8 and uh, Windows 7, but those are outdated. Uh, we don't use those ones uh, these days. But then if you're still using those ones, it's still fine. Just that uh, the highly recommended Windows. Windows is a program, the most important program that your computer needs to run or to actually do anything. Uh, the, uh, the manufacturer puts Windows on your laptop or your computer before you buy it. And then you start using Without the Windows, you cannot use the computer for anything. Okay, so the common Windows we are using right now, or the latest is the Windows 10. Windows 10. Okay, all right. So uh, we have we have a place called computer. Now this place is so important to us. Okay, uh, you can, you see you, you, can, you can click on the same place that we we clicked on the file explorer. When you click on the file explorer, you check on the left side here. You will see here mine is called this PC. And next to it is a, you know, like a screen, a computer screen. Okay, what do we do here? We do so many things here. Once you click, you observe a few things here. But what I want to comment on is we go down here. When you connect, uh, first of all, it shows you the size of your hard disk drive. Uh, here is labeled as Windows C, Windows C. Okay, so this is my hard disk drive. When you are buying a computer, you should be able to check the size of your hard disk drive to know whether uh, it will serve the purpose for which you are buying it for. Okay, if you buy one of the very small hard disk, it means uh, you are not going to be able to put uh, enough data on it. Okay, so this is like uh, 930. When you see something like that, we normally call it a one terabyte, like a thousand gigabyte uh, to be specific. It's the same as a one terabyte. Now uh, we have what called DVD uh, uh, drive, okay, or DVD ROM. Now your your DVD ROM, okay, that is if you are using a CD, you can uh, insert your CD inside the DVD ROM. So when I put a CD inside my computer, which we will do later, uh, you will see that the name of the CD may appear here, or I can open the CD from this side, uh, which is uh, inside uh, this computer or my computer also when you connect your phone any external device to connect to your computer you will uh, find that external device in this place called this pc so this is my phone i can easily open it and check uh, what is inside my phone you see you can see card which is the external card and then this is the internal uh, you know that's the phone memory okay so let's go back here and then uh, if you have usb drive or memory stick you can as well uh, get it from here if you connect your external camera you will get it also here so this PC you can access any external device that you connect to your computer okay so uh, yeah that's it then we go down to downloads all of these things I'm going to take my time to take them one by one and show you practical cases uh, where we, we can uh, appreciate these ones more okay now downloads when for example you go to the internet okay internet and you are you are researching or you are doing some work on the internet and you decide to download maybe anything for your project pictures videos you know document anything you download mostly they go to a place called downloads downloads so when you download things from your internet uh, the default place more or less like the automatic setting is that if you go to a place called downloads you will find downloads also in the same place you go to file explorer on the left side we have downloads here so once you click downloads all the files we have here are things that we have actually uh, downloaded download means uh, to retrieve from the internet the files that we have retrieved from the internet okay so that is your downloads okay then uh, next to downloads we have what uh, control panel Control panel is a very important place where we do so many things, okay? We, we make changes to the computer settings. We can put a password on our computer from there. We can uh, control our antivirus. We can put new software 
on our computer via the control panel and we can remove uh, software that we don't want from the control panel we can set our time the language we do so many things so in the course of time we will uh, discuss more about the control panel then we have a recycle bin when you are working on your computer and you delete any file okay once you delete a file and all these things are files videos document pictures music anything Okay, once you delete, uh, the content goes straight to the recycle bin. Okay, so recycle bin, you normally find it on your desktop. This is the recycle bin, you see. This is the recycle bin. So anything that you delete actually goes into this bin. And it stays there for some days or weeks or months before it gets permanently deleted, depending on your computer settings. Yeah, so if you mistakenly uh, delete anything, the best place to go and look for that file is to go to your recycle bin. Okay, then uh, the last on this item here is uh, internet browsers. They help us to connect to the internet. Okay, if you want to check what is happening on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, on Google, you know, if you want to uh, get information for your uh, tax, you know, you're looking for a place. Uh, you don't know where it is you can use the internet to search for you know a place you know you are looking for a tourist attraction site you know anything that you are looking for you're looking for a university to study you know your bachelor degrees or masters or phd and so on and so forth you just uh, need a, a browser to get there so uh, we have many different kinds of internet browsers we have chrome we have mozilla firefox uh we have uh, windows explorer etc okay so these are some of the things that we have to know so that will be the end of uh, our first lesson on introduction to computers we will have our next lesson soon thank you